Okay, we have a three-way switch in this box, and we have a, uh, we're going to put a double switch in here also, so we're going to, hook our ground up on our three-way switch here. tight, the copper's under the screw head all the way around, make sure that one's tight, come over here make sure our wires are tight, this one's not really neat so I'll open this up. Make sure insulation's not pinched. So put our three-way switch wire back into our box here. Okay, now we're going to do our uh, double switch. This is our double switch. Okay, you have your uh, common where your power is going in. And over here, you have your uh, power going out from each switch. And uh, this one can also be wired as a three-way switch with this common and two travelers. See, we have our out on both sides. For double single pole and our green screw for our ground and over here we have 
our common two common terminals and our other uh, traveler wire if you're using this as a three-way so we're going to bring our power in to one of these common screws now if you're doing two switches on two separate circuits you'd break this little tab off and you'd have this would be one switch from here to here and from here to here and they could be on two different circuits if you break this little tab out but if you're wiring this one as a three-way on one circuit you'd break this little tab out again and that's your common and your two travelers and then this would be your single pole switch up here and that'll be with that tab broken out but with the tab in here we're doing two single pole switches and they have a pressure lock terminal so we can just drip our wires the length we need for our pressure lock terminals here And since everything is, both switches are on one circuit and we're doing the double single pole switch, we're going to close one of these terminals because we're not going to use it. And we'll close this traveler because we're not going to use it. Okay, so this black wire is our power coming in. So we're going to go on to this terminal here, get our, make sure we don't get our insulation under the pressure plate. Make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, and these two are closed because we're not using them. And we'll flip it around. This is one light on the top half here. Make sure our insulation is not pinched under a pressure plate and our copper goes all the way up to the top. Okay, there we go. Our copper's up at the top and our insulation's not pinched. And we'll get our second light. Make sure our copper is up at the top and our insulation's not under the pressure plate. And make sure it's tight. And now we'll just hook our ground wire up to our green screw. your wire around the screw the direction the screw turns make sure it's tight so now we can fold our wires into our box we're going to make sure that our ground wire stays away from our terminals so we're going to just put it back in here like this push this in Make sure all wires are all in the box there the way we want them. And now I'll try to show you the instructions.
Thanks for watching. Peace.